Hey guys, we've talked a lot about how to put your body in really good positions and how to train for that, but how do we actually put that in practice uh, in the scope of a bigger workout program? Uh, so what we like to do here is 80% of our workouts we consider training workouts. 20% of our workouts we consider testing. So if we take five workouts a week, 80% would be four out of those five, 20% would be one out of those five workouts where we would be testing. So what, what do these terms mean? In training, we're working on our technique. We're trying to learn something. We wanna get our technique better through training. Through testing, we're really seeing what we can do. So we're trying to get the best score possible. So for our four out of five workouts a week, what we're looking at is prioritizing high quality reps and then going as hard as you can. So this isn't moving extremely slowly and moving really lightweight. We're gonna really push the pace on everything as much as we can, but with the priority of quality reps. So these workouts are still hard, but we're not gonna try and cut any corners and we're not gonna let things get too sloppy. In the testing, we're now gonna uh, prioritize our score. So a lot of the workouts we do, we can score it by how many reps you did, how fast you completed the task, uh, or how much weight you're lifting. So we're gonna focus on the priority of getting the best score possible for your workout using the techniques we've developed because we understand that the best way to be efficient with our movement is to develop these efficient techniques. So I like to think of an MMA fighter or a cage fighter and they do a lot of training in the gym and then uh, when they get into the ring to fight they don't just start slapping around, okay? So they're gonna use the techniques, but now they're testing. They're gonna go a little harder, so the techniques might get a little sloppier because they're producing maximal forces, but they still know that their technique is the only way to succeed in the ring. So it's the same way here. So when we train like this, ultimately this is a path to being fit and pain-free into your 90s and it's the only way, the only path for elite performance. So these two things are in line. If we truly want to get to these upper levels of performance, uh, we cannot uh, overlook technique's role in getting us there. So what does this look like? Uh, first, we'll look at how a lot of other people handle high intensity exercise, uh, and they start off we have intensity here at the bottom and we have movement quality here. So they start off at an intensity and then as they go, they get better and better at the movements. Their techniques gets better and better. But as they do that, they just keep pushing the pace, pushing the pace, pushing the pace. Basically this type of training has 100% of their workouts in the testing range where every single workout, the only, the top priority is the score of your workout. What happens is very quickly you plateau and then you actually get to a point where your intensity, the pace you're able to push is too high for your movement quality, and now your movement quality starts to suffer. So as soon as we let our back start to round on our deadlifts, or as soon as we let our knees cave in on our squats, and then we keep using weights above what our technique can handle, the only way we can keep moving those weights is to collapse our knees and let our back uh, round. If you do it, our way and really prioritize quality movement what we do is we start you off at an intensity and then we make you get better and better your technique work makes you better and better once you get to a spot we're happy with we kind of push you off the cliff you get a little bit worse with your movement quality as your intensity goes up but we stop you before you get too worse now we hang you out there if it's going at a certain speed, uh, if it's getting more range of motion out of a movement, uh, if it's lifting more weight, and then we let you sit there and get better and better with your technique there. Push you off the cliff, make you get better and better, and then we gradually take this over, and it gives us a lot of potential. So we have more potential for more intensity in the workouts, and that movement quality is gonna be high. Again, this is the only path to being fit and pain-free into your 90s and is the only path to performance. So if you're going into the gym every single day and the only priority you have is testing, getting the best score you possibly can, you're not gonna develop the skills and the techniques required to get one really, really good at this stuff 
and avoid injuries, gain the range of motion, and actually be a functional human being. So four out of five workouts, training, prioritize quality movement, even if that makes you go a little slower or lift a little lighter. One workout a week, go after it. Use the techniques you know, but put your heart and soul into it and really push. All right, enjoy.